choosing to marry me. And so I choose not to worry about it. Being that I've waited so long, I just, I can't settle now. It's not an option for me. I would love to be in a relationship, a marriage, but I don't feel that that defines me. So if I don't find the perfect person for me, then I'll just remain single. I'm Lindsay Davis for Nightline in Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> Twitter, what up Facebook, what up YouTube, say what up Skype, what up the whole network and mobile devices. This is your boy CNOTE reporting in with the spiritual direction for the day. What makes a relationship? A relationship suffers when it lacks resources. Then, having a mate that complements your strengths and being able to strengthen each other in their weaknesses. And you know, you heard the saying, iron shop is iron. So yet, the one thing that people need to focus on is the key ingredients that fuses everything all together. And both parties must have an aspiration in the visions of God. That's what makes a successful relationship. So we want to talk about uh, preparation for video presentations, having a good team, daytime and not, uh, nighttime uh, talk shows, informatics. We want to talk about money strategies, making sense of the whole matter. You know, with City Corp and uh, United uh, United City uh, Visa cards and stuff like that. Say, doing research on them, and then advice to the young generation on love and sex issues. So we want you to text in your comments. Yet we're looking for serious inquisitions, revelatory wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to educate. And then we're gonna focus on the ministry of uh, psychological deprogramming. So I want to give a shout out to the new host of 106 in Park with Shorty the Prince and Miss Mikey. And then also new hot video for Rita Ora. Say shoot, I always want to keep you up on the hot trends and what's going on. So this commentary now is we got a segment with some beautiful ladies, also brothers as well, that's going to provide their um, insight on what's going on. And then we're going to give you a spectrum from 2013. So the kid to give the key ingredients to enlighten the next generation, to give them the keys and the catalysts to help them be successful. So, Know That Enemy is an excellent movie. It had that evangelistic street flavor movie. And in your creative craft, there should be a message to help people see clearly. For many people out there are blind and they need enlightenment. They're looking for the light. So not everybody know everything. So each one teach one, you know, when you can inform a person and let Christ Jesus transform and transcend their mind, an individual with the seed sown today can be the future seeds of tomorrow that will spark the future generation. So we're going to deal with warning signs. We deal with, we also dealing with your adversary and we dealing with devils. One must know the enemy's tactics. So the key to stand clear from that is to stay centered in God. So, don't let anger or negativity actions of your friends or even family members stop you from reaching your divine destiny. Stay focused on your high calling, the high calling of Christ. The goal is to stay free. Stay focused on God and things will work itself out. So, people, the challenge is, the answer to people that try to fight you, the answer is, when Jesus said in Proverbs, just avoidance, walk in peace, just walk away, find an open outlet, find the outlet of escape on a daily, and then there's, and the basis is avoidance, there is no shame in walking away, for it's the individual that has the problem, not you, so hey, in truth, when you're in the light of Christ, the answer to was uh, when you're in the light of Christ, you basically is the answer to the person's situation. So hey, this is my tribute, tidbit, and form for the day. And uh, yo, we're gonna always hit you with the hot topics. Second dimension. Edge3M Sports and Entertainment and founder of Me Unlimited. We invite you to connect with us through the Skirts Network and also to join us on one of our stops for the Skirts in the Boardroom Tour. It's a wonderful book, something you certainly don't want to miss, so we look forward to connecting with you very soon at a city near you.
Well, we've been doing a lot of different Spirits in the Boardroom events around the country from Atlanta, which is where we are tonight, to Dallas, San Antonio, Houston, New York. And so with all of these different cities, everything has a different flair. Well, I came out to support the book. I really do believe 100% in what she's all about. The Spirits in the Boardroom, that sounded very interesting. I wanted to come out and you know, support Marshawn and her book and wanted to learn more about Spirits in the Boardroom. taking control of their lives, more African American women are moving up in more prominent roles. Some of the things that Marshawn spoke about, I, I kept feeling like I wanted to say, amen, all right, you know, I could identify with everything that she was saying. If you don't know what it is that you're good at, how can you expect to really maximize your potential? If you don't know what it is that you do better than anybody else, why should you expect your boss to give you a promotion? I didn't think about buying a book after I heard Marshawn speak. Very dynamic, very impressive. I think she hits on a lot of points for women and men. It's a lot about being aware of who you are and what you want, and writing out your goals, and being confident in yourself. And those are really like the main theme points throughout the book. Like I'm going to get the book and pass it on to a couple of people, a couple of ladies that I know that are in business for themselves. I bought the book because I also have three young daughters who are six, four, and two, and I hope that I can inspire them. And I also hope that one day they can read this book and be inspired themselves. I thought it was outstanding, and I think Marshawn is a great mentor role model for young black women, so I came out to support it. I'm so glad I made it. Um, I, I think this is probably one of the best events I've been to in probably the last two years. This is not really about a book, it's a movement. Skirts in the Boardroom is a business advice book for women, and it really talks about how to maximize your potential, how to accomplish the goals that you've set for your professional career, whether that means climbing the corporate ladder and getting there faster than what you otherwise expected, or starting your own business. I think it's important for women, again, to share information with other women. And so I wanted to write this book so that I could share that. And I'm very specific. I talk about confidence and how to grow your confidence. I talk about connections and how important it is to network and how you network effectively. I talk about knowing your leadership style. I talk about knowing your communication style. And so they're very practical things, very real pieces of advice that women can use to advance their careers and that entrepreneurs can use to launch their business. I'm interactive with others because I care about people. I sincerely believe that every person is created on purpose, with purpose, for purpose. And as a result, I want to hear what people do. I want to understand what their dreams are. I want to see how I can help them. I always say to start where you are with what you have, knowing that what you have is already enough. And that's really my motivation, is to help people understand that what they were given was not on accident. That what they have inside of them is uniquely designed to be an answer to somebody else's problem. They're uniquely designed to maximize their potential in a very specific way. People should buy Skirts in the Boardroom because it is a tool designed to really help people maximize their potential. It's very sound, very shrewd business advice on how to be the best, how to ask for what you're worth and get what you're worth how to network effectively, how to share information strategically so that you can get the intended results, how to become a better business communicator as opposed to someone who's not taken as seriously as you might want to be. So there's sound advice, there's good advice, and it's something that you don't want to be without. TNT on the downstairs department. You feel me? Plus, I know how to show my woman love and romance. But yet, don't get me wrong. And I say, shoot. Got a five finger discount. And know how to put a woman in their place if they get out of line. So, you know, 
See, Dr. Mercy, do you got the answer to analyze this social commentary? Because you got women that love it, and you got some women that don't. 